Everywhere you turn in New York City, there are people hopping into cabs, Ubers, Lyfts, livery cars. All the time, every day. Nick Larson has never had a problem when it comes to cab safety. Fortunately, but I have heard stories of other people. You never know what's going to happen out there. So he's on board with a proposal to put panic buttons in the back of cabs, livery cars, and for hire vehicles. A second piece of legislation being considered by city council is installing a button in the front of these cars to help the driver. I think it's a great idea to have that. You never know, people look crazy. City Council Member Andy King first introduced the bill to add panic buttons to cabs last legislative session. When we met, over 150 drivers showed up to this meeting to tell their horror stories of how they've got ripped off, how they got their cars ripped off, how they've gotten beaten down. Not to mention um, Brother Camacho, who got shot eight times. The livery driver who survived being shot and robbed by his passenger in the Bronx last March, according to police. Would this be something they'd have to pay for, or would this? The city be footing this bill? How would that work? Well, we have um, a sponsor who's looking to help us pilot this project. As a council member, I will urge and look for the city to take the recognize the fiscal impact to help the drivers kick it off because then it is not about trying to make a dollar off them, it's about saving their lives. At a hearing today, the NYPD says it's on board with tools to get victims of crimes to the police department quicker, but there are a lot of details which still need to be ironed out. To find the right technology that'll help us act accurately respond to the location. If we show up to a particular corner and there are five cars that look identical, like in the case of yellow cabs or livery cabs, we need to know which car is actually in distress. The result of today's hearing is to really rev up conversation to try and implement some sort of safety feature inside cabs, and Council Member King wants to see that happen before the end of the year. Now, we did reach out to Uber and Lyft, who support safety measures as well, but have their own idea of how it should be implemented. You can check that out on our website, cbsnewyork.com.